Hey everyone, today I want to do a quick video on how to control a Chauvet Hurricane 1000 Fogger via DMX. The uh, Hurricane 1000 doesn't support DMX by itself, but it does control support rather using the FCT timer. Uh, this is a bit of a generic uh, timer that will, will probably suit a lot of other Chauvet Foggers as well. Uh, just a word of warning though, uh, there are a few foggers out on the market where they send uh, mains voltage out on out to the controller. So I wouldn't recommend that, it's probably not very safe. Uh, but this one is only low voltage uh, and it'll have a 5 pin DIN socket on the back which looks like this. Okay, so the way I did this one is I bought a, a DMX controller kit off Ali, actually it was off eBay, but you can get them off AliExpress as well. Uh, I think it was about $30 or something. Uh, this one's got three relays built into it, but I'm only using one. You could probably get away with a simpler version of this as well. Okay, and I simply connected it in to the cable, uh, the control cable. I just had to find which which wires actually controlled the fogger. So uh, on, on here you'll see the three relays and I've connected to this first relay just here and you'll see Bit hard to see amongst the other wires. Uh, for me it was the black and the red wires uh, going in here and here uh, that switched the frogger. I'll just uh, give you a demo. So off we go. Uh, you can see it works quite well. Okay um, so the first thing I need to do is get power to this board. It requires 12 volts. I was hoping I could control it or run the power straight off the fogger, but I wasn't able to do that. Uh, it puts out five volts, but that wasn't enough. It does require the 12 volts. So I, I got a separate power supply, which you'll see this one coming in here. And that connects to uh, these here. These provide power for the relays and the, the whole circuit board. Uh, and then I connected it to my DMX desk. Uh, that's the cable coming out the back. Uh, comes around here and I just wired it in there. You'll see DMX plus, DMX minus and ground. Uh, now I had to uh, play around a bit to find which were the cables that uh, activated the fogger. As I say, for me it was the uh, the black cable and the white cable. Uh, I don't know if that's standard on, on this cable. This was actually a MIDI cable that I bought. I, I found it's easier to just buy a ready-made MIDI cable uh, and just cut it in half. I've probably got the other half of it somewhere here. Um, Here it is, so I just uh, can't really see, but uh, I just cut that in half, it means I've got another spare one as well. Uh, and I just messed around with it for a while and found which two ones it was. Um, in terms of the DMX setup, um, this was already a set to address number one, uh, which was handy, so all I had to do is select the first device on my DMX disc and so channel 1 will be the first relay and then any value below 127 is off and any value above 127 is on. Anyway, um, a bit messy but I thought it would be good to show you this while it's in pieces. I'll put it into a nice little, little case 
and uh, it should be handy out on on jobs uh, it cost me about forty dollars to do this uh, if you went on AliExpress you could probably get a, a single relay board because I don't really need the three relays uh, and um, yeah should be handy uh, any questions just uh, just throw them in the comments I'm not a real electronics expert but uh, I'll help where I can and I hope that this helps someone bye for now